Hi, my name is Chris. I'm with the customer success team at Xano. And today I'm going to show you a cool little function that you can build to import a CSV file and have it add those records to an existing table in your Xano database. This is going to be super useful if, let's say, you have users signing up on the front end, but you also have a list of users that you need to import into your database manually. Something like this can be great for that. So let's take a look. Okay, so first I'm just going to give you a quick look at my table here. Uh, we have just a very basic CSV import table with a few values, a few records inside here. Let's jump over to our function. So I'm going to try to walk you through this step by step, but if you need some clarification, definitely let us know. So first we just have a simple input here. This is just the CSV file that's going to be uploaded and processed by our function stack. We're doing a create attachment from file. So what this is doing is this is creating metadata for the file so we can continue to reference it in the function stack. And then right under that, we have a get file resource data. And what this is doing is this is looking for that file that we just created and it's pulling out the actual CSV data. So it's just just the raw CSV data. It's just pulling that right out of there and storing it in a variable called CSV file. I'm actually going to add a uh, function under this here. I'm going to go over here to utility functions and I'm going to choose stop and debug. This is going to allow me to show you the contents of each variable as we go through this function. So right now I'm going to pick raw CSV and hit save. Let's go ahead and run this. Let's grab our CSV file. I will click this and hit open and run this. So you can see this is our raw CSV data. We have about 100 records in here that we're going to add into our table. Obviously, this is kind of a mess right now. We're going to use a filter called CSV decode to just make this a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to work with. So we have create variable that's taking that raw CSV data and it's using the CSV decode filter and storing that in a variable called CSV decode. And we can look at that right now. So you can see all of our records from the CSV are being stored in their own little separate arrays here. We need to separate the keys from the values. And by keys, I just mean the header of your CSV. So the very first row that defines your columns, we need to separate those from the actual values that we're going to store in the table. We're creating a new variable here called keys, taking that CSV decode. And all we're doing is we are applying a filter of first, which is an array filter that just takes the first element from that array and stores it in the variable. And then we are creating another variable called values, and we are just taking the header and the values, it sounds a little weird, but bear with me, and storing that in a new variable called values. And then right after that, we are removing the first value from that array. So all we're left with then is the values. So let me add a new stop and debug here, and I'll show you that. All right, so here are our keys, and here come our values. Perfect, that's exactly what we need. And so now we need to take all of these different sets of values and we need to put them in a loop so we can go through them one by one and add them to the table. To do that, we have a for each loop that is taking that list of values. As it goes through the loop, it's storing each one of them in a variable called item. So we are creating a new variable inside that loop called object. And what that's doing is that's using the create object filter to essentially build JSON that the add record function can read. So for that, we need a key and we need the values. So for the keys, we're just referencing the keys variable that we created here in step four. And for the value, what we're doing is we are referencing item which is what our loop is using to store each one of those sets of data. And so after that happens, all we're doing is we are adding a record from each of those values that are stored in our variable that we created in the previous step in the loop. If we've done everything right and we run this, now let's look at our database one more time here. You can see we only have the two records in here. Let's run this one more time and you can see we have a success here. It says everything ran successfully, and that's awesome. But we don't actually know if that happened yet. We want to go back into our database table and make sure those records are there. So we're just going to go right up here to our database preview. 
and we'll click on the table and you can see just like that we have all of our new records added to our table. So again, just to give you an overview of what we did here, we created a function that allows us to take in a CSV. This can be one that you upload if this is just something you need to do on your back end, or this can be something that your users upload on the front end, and it allows us to add the data from that CSV file into an existing database table in Xano. Now this API is going to be made available as a snippet as well. There's gonna be a link in the description for you to check that out. I will also leave a link to a video that explains how to use snippets in more detail. But essentially what that's going to let you do is that's going to let you look at this function and it's going to let you take it and add it right into your Xano workspace so you don't have to build this from scratch. Now you may need to update it slightly for your use case. I think though really the main thing here is to make sure that in the add record function you are going to need to update the values to make sure that this is referencing the values that you need as well as mapping to the correct table. So I hope this helps. Definitely let us know if you have any questions. Make sure to check out the Xano community to chat with other Xano users. Like and subscribe for more Xano videos and we will see you in the next one.